Carib Nation is on location at the University of Aruba. Today we will speak about tourism with the Dean of the Faculty of Tourism Studies, Dr. Ryan Peterson. Carib Nation is up next. When America wants to know what's happening in the Caribbean diaspora, there is one clear choice. Hello, welcome to Carib Nation. Both people inside and outside are very excited about today's program. Looking at you, I can tell that you have traveled the journey. <laughs> One television organization brings America close to the people, stories, and events that affects Caribbean life. Get close, get answers, get Carib Nation. In this globalizing world, tourism is one of the major sectors in economies around the world. It's very competitive, but it employs a lot of people. And in the Caribbean, in the 25 or 30 islands of the Caribbean, they depend vitally on tourism. One of the great success stories of the Caribbean is an island, a beautiful island, called Aruba. And many Americans and people around the world know and have heard of Aruba. They come for the sunshine, they come for the sand, they come for the beach. But there are other things about Aruba and the success story in Aruba that we should know about. Today, Carib Nation is having an interview with Dr. Ryan Peterson, who is the Dean of the Faculty of Tourism Studies here at the University of Aruba. Dr. Ryan Peterson, you're the Dean of uh, the Faculty of Tourism Studies here at the University of Aruba. Correct. How long have you been living in Aruba and how did you become the Dean as such a young person of the, uh, here at the University? Uh, that's a really interesting question. It's been an interesting journey. I was appointed in 2005 as Dean of the Faculty of Tourism Studies. It was also the year that the faculty was established. Way back in 2004, I was working in Spain and I heard the University of Aruba was busy with establishing a new faculty of tourism in order to further the further development of the industry on island. Um, and subsequently, I applied for the job for the function of the dean and I got that position. And in 2005, I came back to Aruba because I'm originally from Aruba, was born and raised there. Uh, on my 18th, I left to study abroad. I traveled for over 16 years in different countries. And after 16 years, I decided to come back to assist my country in further development through education and through tourism. And Dean, can you explain to us a bit this faculty of tourism? What is the mission and how many members you have on the staff and what kind of programs do you have? All right. Our mission is fundamentally to contribute to the further development, both in the professional sense and the scientific sense, of tourism and hospitality within the Caribbean. Um, our sites are not only focused on Aruba not as Not only such, for Aruba. But also the Caribbean. We do have, our vision is to one day become a key player within the Caribbean um, and regionally in order to provide the human capital that our region so direly needs in order to further its development and growth towards the future and to sustain its competitiveness. Coming back to the faculty in a minute, uh, at this moment we have two different programs. We have an undergraduate bachelor program um, in which we have approximately 90 students. Um, these students enter with a college degree or a high school degree. It's a program of three years and they can specialize in areas of hospitality management, international tourism, international business and marketing. Um, following that, they can continue with their master program, a graduate program. It's an MBA. It's a two-year program. We have approximately 31 people enrolled in the MBA program. It's a part-time program dedicated particularly to those that are currently employed in the industry and want to continue their career, academic career, scientific career, and develop their professional skills in areas of international tourism and international business. Um, in terms of staff, at this moment, we have approximately six to seven full-time staff and we work very closely together with the industry, 
by having adjuncts or visiting professors from the industry. Um, part of the success of the faculty is the fact that we work very closely together with the local industry um, in terms of expertise because they've had over 30 years of experience with tourism and hospitality on island. Um, whether it's through guest lectures or to part-time positions, we work very closely together. And also through field assignments, we expose the students not only to the theory of tourism, but also to the practice of tourism, which is equally important um, to develop and further that knowledge and expertise in that area. How many tourists come to this country per year? On average, we have over 700,000 tourists, stay over visitors. Um, add to that another 500,000 cruise visitors, and we're talking approximately on an average of 1.2 million tourist visitors In per year. terms of impact on the economy, the, what is the difference between uh, the tourists uh, that come and stay at hotels and the cruise tours? Their impact is both significant. Both of them are quite significant. We're, we're speaking here of billions. Um, in terms of how they spend their money, um, what they spend on island. Um, on average, you know, you're talking about a billion point five dollars uh, per year. The question there being is also how they spend their money. And obviously they spend their money differently. For instance, if you compare a hotel visitor to a cruise visitor to a timeshare visitor, and a timeshare component is really important for us because over 50% or almost 50% of our visitors are timeshare visitors. A I mean, taxi driver yesterday told us that timeshare visitors do not spend money. And that is a very um, public myth um, that they don't spend money. They spend money differently. It's interesting you should mention that because we recently finished off a one-year extensive study solely on the timeshare industry in Aruba and timeshare owners spend over seven hundred million dollars in our economy. They spend it differently. They don't spend it like a cruise visitor. They might spend less on shopping while a cruise visitor comes in for six hours a timeshare visitor spends two to three weeks on island. So the time that they spend on island has a significant impact in what they see, how they experience the island, and how they spend their money. You see, for instance, a timeshare owner spending much more money in restaurants versus shopping. They spend a lot more money in casinos versus shopping and jewelry and souvenirs. So their spending patterns are different. Now for those individuals or those industries that are closer to, let's say, the shopping or further away from the restaurants, their perception of reality might be cruisers don't spend money on restaurants and timeshare owners don't spend any money on shopping. Or taxi drivers. Or taxi drivers, exactly. So that position in the industry, that role you have in industry will definitely have an impact on how you perceive that reality, what is real and what is not real. But it was and has been and continues to be a popular myth actually that timeshare owners don't spend money, which is incorrect.